Hello everyone, welcome to another Yukon UPDC construction project update. My name is Luke Gett. Today is June 23rd, 2017. We are on the NSB project, the new engineering and science building. This is our 10th video of the series. We're going to be taking you through the progress to date. We'll begin with some amazing aerial photography, compliments of our colleague Milton Levin. You're looking at the north elevation. The biggest change since the last time we, we were out was the construction hoist has been removed. The plywood elevator that brought materials and men up. You can barely see the old footing where it was at on the center left hand side down below the footing there. Great. Oh, the finishes were, were immediately put back. Wonderful. We're pretty much uh, at the top of our view right through here. We can see the upper roof has been completed minus the plannings and the lower roof down on the fourth floor here in front of the louver has its base coats on it. What a marvelous elevation through here. The gray terracotta has been completed except for some minor spots at the flashing. The blue spandrel and gray uh, glass in through here. What a marvelous. The white eyebrows. And finally the doors, they won't be actually installed uh, until the project is just about complete. Looking at chemistry here on the south and east elevation, we can see the outline of the new walk that will take the students from student health down uh, past chemistry into the front of the building. And again, what a marvelous elevation, similar to the front, that is about 98% completed this time. As we look up to the mechanical room, we see on the sides of the louver, they're still working a little bit on the terracotta. Down below on the ground level to the right, that's going to be the air intake that feeds the air systems down below. To the left hand side is the loading dock where uh, shipping and receiving will be. And to the left of the loading dock on the quarter of the building is a retaining wall that ties over into a uh, pharmacy. And we'll finish up on the west elevation as we look down upon pharmacy. There'll be several crisscross walks from front to back in this section with a few trees. We're now passing over four floors of gathering space. Two-sided glass, this pointed section here, will be most amazing rooms. We're now flying over the roof, and the roof is prepared. The plannings will be coming in shortly in the next week or so. We're looking down at the lab exhaust fans. And finally, as we travel all the way to the east, over here to chemistry, is the walk we had just mentioned that ties in from uh, student health services to the front of the building. And finally, we'll finish our aerial shot with a look to the east. And again, stacked up lab areas, two-sided glass. Let's take a minute to talk about this amazing paint finish that's going into the labs here. Pearlescent is the name of it. It's a five-layered finish. And we have a great opportunity to see the different layers in right in through here. This is a base layer in through here. So it's a primer, two base layers, a finish, and then a top coat of sealer. It almost has a metal flake to it. It's almost into the auto body uh, type of a finish that you see. You can just barely see the flake in here. Durable, very bright on the color. Pearlescent is the paint process going into the labs. So quickly we'll take a look. We're on the second floor here. Plastic is up just for this painting process to protect the ceilings. The millwork in, in the cabinetry is just about finished. Get a chance to see. We we'll go back to a few videos. The mechanical chases through here. All the systems run up uh, through this end chase in here. The shelving is installed. Pretty good shape since the last time uh, we were in this section right through here. And the second and the third floor are the uh, biology wings. So we'll keep that in mind as we walk through. We'll continue on the second floor. We just left the north wing. We're on the south and you can see we're in the pearlescent finishes on the wall here. That's why all this plastic is up. It's a sprayed process and this is some of the base layers that you see in through here. The finished layer hasn't uh, gone through the top. But we'll move aside this protection for the painting to get a chance to look at the labs that are just about finished through here. Very nice. You can see the open concept all the way through here.
lights, the ceiling. We can see the shade brow up through here. Coming along very nicely. Floors are finished. Our last shot was from the west looking east. We're now east looking west. This plastic will be here just till they finish the paint on the wall and through here, that pearlescent paint finish. Very clean on the labs. The second and third floor are tied together. We go back to a few videos. We saw this amazing staircase that links the two spaces. We can't get in here now. What an amazing floor they're in the process of. Multiple coats. This is the epoxy floor that they set a layer in here. I believe they have one more layer they're going to do on here tomorrow. Can't wait to get back to this space once it's finished. We saw our on. We'll see. We go to the next floor, you'll see why the plastic is there to keep the absolute uh, dust free uh, to this area. Third floor similar to the second floor, still a biology wing. Millwork is in great shape in here. Have not got to the paint on the wall. It's been primed. We saw the finishes just down below as we take a walk. Now these floors are connected together. This is the CGI set of labs in through here. Very nice, separated from full glass. Little transom over the top. So we call the glass on the upper portion in through here. Very nice. The CGI labs. These are all support areas in between through here, between the both labs on the north and the south side. All right, so there's a lot of work going on around this staircase. We've looked at this before. There's an epoxy floor. The guys are working on the epoxy floor. That's why it's all covered right now. It's protected so no dust goes down below. We'll catch the epoxy floor coming up in the next week or so through here. A little bit of a look, the elevators. This will be the standard. You come up the elevators. This is where you'll discharge right here. So the elevators are on the west side through here. So a work in progress, some floor leveling, some floor patching ahead of the epoxy coming in through here. Into the service areas that service the labs on this side here. Beautiful old cabinets, nice uppers, lowers, chemical resistant tops, white, which is a nice uh, change from the classic black that you see typically in the old style labs through here. Very nice. Third floor south without all the plastic up, obviously, because uh, the finish is, is not on the wall down here yet. But a, a good opportunity to see how it'll look in the finish stages here. What a very bright with the white countertops. We just talked about that. The white frames on the uh, shelving that goes over the top on the mechanical chase through here very light very bright again we're on the third floor we'll take a quick peek here southeast corner all the way through here get a chance to see this corridor in through here magnificent tall glass what a nice view looking over at chemistry through here one will, we'll just give you a sense on how it swings around from the south uh, to the north through here very nice coming along again this is going to be the last floor to be finished but we can see the drywall is done the ceiling is in place here the grids in place some of the intermediate uh, panels have been installed the short one foot pieces in through here so this won't take much to uh, finish in this space in through here we always take a shot entering the building let's try something a little different here and let's take a shot exiting the building the canopy over the main doors through here very nice, shaded, protected. Leaving the building, you get a chance to see these amazing shade brows through here. What a nice feature, stainless steel through here, no rusting in the future.
Again, today is June 23rd, 2017, and we thank you for your interest in our university project. Remember to subscribe to our Yukon UPDC YouTube channel. Once subscribed, under subscriptions, to the right, under the bell, a check next to send me all notifications for this channel with a save. This way, anytime we add a project or update a project, you'll receive an automatic email. We thank you for your interest in our university projects. Have a great day.